There are a lot of well-known statements about kind deeds. A good deed becomes really valuable only when a person does it sincerely, from the bottom of their heart, without any expectations about some profit. The character of our story today is a teenager who saved a defenseless living creature, and only a few years later the truth was revealed. It turned out that he returned his old debt by his deed. There are villages where there are no schools at all, and local children have to walk several miles every day. There are no regular buses in those villages, and the roads are broken or washed out by rain. One boy did not want to walk to school for a long time with other children and shortened his path. Although, for this, he had to walk not along a lit road, but straight through the forest. The schoolboy was a brave boy, and he was not afraid of anything at all. In the forest, in his opinion, nothing threatened him at all. If I meet a wild beast, I can always fight it off with a stick that I find nearby, he was sure. Unfortunately, the teenager was very wrong. Once, after school, the class teacher asked the boy to stay for a while. She wanted to talk to the student about his not very good results and about the fact that he needed to improve his study results. He stayed for some time, and when he left school, it was already dark outside. The boy went along his usual way towards the forest, and at the very outskirts, he stopped in a daze. Three huge shadows rose right in front of him. They were wolves, hungry predators prowling in search of prey, and they were not going to let him go. The teenager stopped with shock and could not move. He was not even able to take a step, and of course he could not find a stick to defend himself. Suddenly, something incredible happened. Out of nowhere, a huge dog sprang up in front of the boy. Before he had time to understand anything, she ran to the predators. Something extraordinary was happening. The three angry wolves were immediately scared off. Even though there were three of them, they retreated before the onslaught of the one dog. Only a few minutes later, the boy came to his senses. He continued standing there in silence and staring at his shaggy savior. The teenager wasn't sure if it was a shepherd or a wild wolf. He certainly had not met her here before. The female animal looked back, made sure that the predators had disappeared into the forest, and slowly went into the thicket. The boy rushed home. All his way home, he seemed to feel someone's presence. The strange canine seemed to accompany him home. Now the boy went to school only with the children and only along the lighted road. He was not going to risk it anymore. But if he still had to go alone, then sometimes he felt someone's glances from the forest thicket. Either the wolves were watching him and wanted to tear him to pieces, or the invisible savior silently accompanied and protected the boy. Two years passed. The teenager hardly remembered this amazing rescue from the wild animals. He still went to school with other children, and not through the forest alone, but the boy loved to pick mushrooms and berries along the way. And sometimes in search of them, he went too far into the forest. It happened this time, too. He gathered up a whole basket of mushrooms and sat down in a clearing to rest. Suddenly, he heard a faint squeak. The boy went to the sound and saw a tiny wolf pup near a large bush. The baby had fallen into a trap and whimpered plaintively in despair. The teenager could not pass by. He found a stick in a large rock and spent almost an hour trying to help the wolf pup. When the baby was free, the boy felt that someone was looking at his back. Turning around, he was dumbfounded. A wolf stood a few meters away from him. Something seemed very familiar to him. And the schoolboy recognized his savior within a second. The she-wolf who had once saved him from certain death. The predator stood calmly and did not show aggression, but the boy still felt uneasy. The mother slowly approached the trap grabbed her baby with her teeth, and slowly went into the forest with him. The boy stood motionless in his place. Suddenly, he seemed to wake up and ran as fast as he could toward the road. He was very scared to meet the wolves again because it was not known how everything would end this next time. 
He could not understand why then, two years ago, that unusual she-wolf rushed to defend him, driving away those hungry wolves. Now, the teenager was also in serious danger because the she-wolf could have attacked him from behind and torn him apart. But now, after a while, we see that it was not in vain that she saved him. After all, he later saved her baby. It turns out that not all wolves are bloodthirsty. Some of them can get along peacefully with people and even help them. Even the most predatory animals can do good deeds. They can come to help out a person in a difficult situation unexpectedly. If you are ready to do good, then it will definitely come back to you. Did you enjoy this unusual story? Have you ever experienced such a thing? Let us know in the comments below.